everyone welcome back today we are going to discuss the class 1 half yearly examination model paper so in this video you'll get an idea about what all type of questions can be asked in the half yearly examination for mathematics okay so let's begin now the first question write the number names here you'll be given numbers and you have to write their number names okay this is 1818 so let's write the spelling e i G H T E E N 18. Okay. Now this is 41. F O R T Y 40. O N E 1. 41. Okay. Next 69. S I X T Y 60. N I N E 9. 69. Next 26. T W E N T Y twenty S I X six twenty six next forty eight F O R T Y forty E I G H T eight forty eight next fifty seven F I F T Y fifty S E V E N seven fifty seven okay. So, the number names are very important. Be prepared with the number names. Okay. Now, next. Write the missing numbers. Now, here they have given a series and you have to write the missing numbers. Okay. 43. After 43, we will get 44. Next, 45. 46 is already given. For After 46, 47. Okay. Now, here. Next one, 27, after 27 we get 28, 29, then after 29, 30 and 31, okay. Next 16, after 16 we get 17, next 18, 19 is given and the next number is 20, okay. Now let's do the next question, put the correct sign, less than, greater than or equal to, okay. Now here we have 19 and 13. Now first let's see the tens digit. In both of them the tens digit is 1 itself. Okay. Now let's see the ones digit. Here we have 9 and here we have 3. So which one is greater? 9 is greater. So 19 becomes a greater number than 13. So we'll put this sign greater than sign. Okay. Next. 9 and 19. Now here in the tens place we have 0 and this is here we have 1. Okay, so this is a single digit number and of course this is smaller than a double digit number. So 9 is less than 19. Okay, next 29 and 39. Now here let's see the tens place. Here we have 2 in the tens place and here we have 3 in the tens place. So obviously this number becomes a smaller number than this number. Okay, because 2 is smaller than 3. So 29 is less than 39. Okay. Now next one, 34 and 57. Now here let's see in the tens place we have 3 and here in the tens place we have 5. So 3 is less than 5. So obviously 34 is less than 57. Okay. Now next 50 and 54. So let's check first the tens place. Here we have 5 and here also we have 5. So when we have both same numbers in the tens place then we will go to the ones place. Here we have 0 and here we have 4. So 0 is less than 4. So obviously 50 is less than 54. Okay. Now next 11 and 9. Now 11 is, two, 11 is a 2 digit number. So obviously it is greater than the single digit number 9. So here we will put a greater than sign. Okay. Next write the smallest number. Here let us see. 16, 29, 11 and 43. Okay. So now let's see first the tens place. Here we have 1. Here we have 2. Again we have 1 and we have 4. So now 1 is the smallest among them in the tens place. So we will compare 16 and 11. Because in both of them we have 1 in the tens place. Okay. So we have 16 and 4. Of course 29 and 43 cannot be the smallest number. Okay, so next, now let's compare 16 and 11. Now after comparing the tens place, now we will move to the ones place. Here we have 6. 
and here we have one. So eleven becomes the smallest number. Okay, because one is smaller than six. So eleven becomes the smallest number as compared to sixteen. Okay, and the rest of the other numbers. Okay, so the smallest number is eleven. Now next, sixty-four, twenty-six, fifty-seven, and fifty-four. Let's check the tens place. Here we have six. Here we have two. Here we have five, and again here we have five. So, among all the tens place digits, which one is the smallest? Here, twenty-six. Two is the smallest. So, obviously, twenty-six becomes the smallest number. Okay, twenty-six is the smallest number among all of them. Okay, first we have to compare the tens digit, and then we have to move towards the ones digit. If the tens place is same, okay. Next, seventy-seven, seventy-nine, seventy-three, and seventy. Now let's check. Here in the tens place we have seven. Here also we have seven in the tens place. Here also we have seven, and here also we have seven. Okay, in the tens place. So in all of them we have seven in the tens place. So let's move to comparing the ones place. Here we have seven. Here we have nine. Here we have three, and here we have zero. So among all the ones place numbers, which one is the smallest? Zero is the smallest. So which number becomes the smallest number? Seventy. So the smallest number is seventy. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Write in ascending order. Ascending order means from smaller number to bigger number. Always remember, ascending order means we are going to write from a smaller number to a bigger number. Okay. Now let's check the first one. Five, nineteen, twenty-eight, and three. Now here we have two single digit numbers. One is five and one is three. So obviously these two become the smallest number. Now let's compare five and three. Which one is small? Three is the smallest number. So first we are going to write three. After three, after three comes five. Okay. Here we have five. After that we have two two digit numbers. One is nineteen and one is twenty eight. Now let's see the tens place. Here we have one in the tens place and here we have two. So because one is there in the tens place, which is smaller than two, of course nineteen becomes the smaller number. So next number comes nineteen. And then comes twenty eight. Okay, so this is the ascending. Okay, we move from a smaller number to a bigger number. Okay, now let's see the next one: eighteen, fifty eight, eleven, and thirty seven. Let's compare the tens digit first. Here we have one in the tens place. Here we have five. Here again we have one, and here we have three. So we have two numbers in which one is there in the tens place. Now let's compare the ones place. Here we have eight, and here we have one. So in between eight and one, which is the smallest one? One. So eleven becomes the smallest number. After that comes eighteen. After that, let's check fifty-eight and thirty-seven. Now here thirty-seven. Three is smaller than five. So of course thirty-seven becomes a smaller number than fifty-eight. Okay, so this is the ascending order. Okay. Now let's see the next one. Forty-six, fifty-four, forty-eight, and forty-four. Let's see the tens place. Here we have four. Here we have five. Here we have again four, and here we have four again. So we have three numbers with four in the tens place. Now let's check the ones place. Six, eight, and four. Okay. So, which is the smallest number among them? Six, eight, and four. Four is the smallest. So, which number becomes the smallest? It is forty-four. So, forty-four becomes the smallest number. After that, six is small as compared to eight. So, forty-six becomes the next smallest number. After that comes forty-eight. Okay, and then comes fifty-four because here in the tens place we have five. So. Last comes fifty four. Okay, now let's see the next question. Write in descending order. Descending order means from a larger number to a smaller number. Okay, let's begin. Fifteen, eighteen, twenty nine, and seventeen. First, check the tens place. Here we have one, again one. Here we have two, and again one. 
so which is the highest one in the tens place here 2 2 is the highest number in the tens place so 29 becomes the biggest number okay then let's compare the ones place here we have 5 here we have 8 and here we have 7 so which is the biggest one here 8 so 18 becomes the next largest number after that 5 and 7 in between 5 and 7 which is large 7 is the larger one so 17 becomes the next larger number and then at last comes 15 ok so this is the descending order from a larger number to a smaller number ok now let's see the next one 26 38 47 and 10 let's compare the tens place first here we have 2 here 3 here 4 and here 1 so which is the larger one here 4 is the largest number in the tens place so 47 becomes the largest number ok next 3 3 is the ne next largest number so 38 becomes the next largest number after that 2 is the next largest number so 26 becomes the next number and then 10 comes at last because 1 is present in the tens place ok now let's see the next one 87, 91, 19 and 29 Let's compare the tens place. Here we have 8, here we have 9, here we have 1 and here we have 2. So which is the larger one? 9 is the larger one. So 91 comes first. After that 8 is the larger number. So 87 comes next. After that 1 is larger, 2 is large. 2 is bigger number. So 29 comes next and at last comes 19. Okay, so this is the descending order from larger number to a smaller number. Okay, now write the number. Here they have given 5 tens and 4 ones. What is 5 tens? Means in the tens place we have 5 and 4 ones. Means in the ones place we have 4. So the number is 54. Okay, next 6 tens and 8 ones. So in the tens place we have 6 and in the ones place we have 8 ones. Ok. Next 2 tens and 6 ones. So in the tens place we have 2 and in ones place we have 6. Ok. Write the numerals. Here they have given number names and you have to write them in numbers. Ok. 84. 84. So here we write 84. Next, 79. So, here we write 79. Next, 27. 27. Okay. Next, 107. 107. So, how we will write this? 107. Okay. 107. 107. Okay. 160. 160 160 ok next 49 4 9 49 ok now next question write forward counting forward counting means we have to write the next numbers in the series ok 107 what is the next number 108 109 110 and 111 ok next 98 99 100 101 and 102 ok add the following 9 plus 2 plus 6 so let's do 9 plus 2 9 10 11 11 plus 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So the answer is 17. 1, 7, 17. Okay. Next 2 plus 5 plus 7. Now first let's do 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5 is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. After 7, 7 plus 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
So the answer is 14. Okay. Next. 4 plus 4 plus 3. So 4 plus 4 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now 8 plus 3 is 9, 10, 11. So the answer is 11. Okay. Now 8 plus 2 plus 3. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So the answer is 13. Okay. Now next subtract on number line. Okay. Now here they have given number line and you have to do the subtraction. Okay. First problem 8 minus 3. So first on the number line find 8. Here you have 8. Okay. Now 8 minus 3. How you do? You will take minus means we will take backward jumping. Okay. So let's see. 3 times you have to do backward jumping. Now from 8 we go to 7. From 7 we go to 6. And from 6 we go to 5. So what is the answer? The answer is 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay. From 8 we have taken 3 backward steps. Okay. We have taken 3 backward steps. So we got the answer 5. Okay. Now 9 minus 7. Now let's see where is 9 on the number line. This is 9. And minus 7 means how many backward steps we are going to take. We will take 7 backward steps. This is the first step. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So which number we are getting? We get 2. So 9 minus 7 is 2. On the number line we have to go backwards. When we are doing subtraction we have to go backwards. Whereas in addition we move forwards. Okay. Now let's see the next one. Dodging table. 9 4s are. Now for this you have to know the tables. Okay. So 9 4s are. 9 months are 9, 9 2s are 18, 9 3s are 27, 9 4s are 36. So the answer is 36. Next, 2 3s are, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. Next, 3 7s are, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18 and 3 7s are 21. So 21. Okay. Now 4 6s are, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16, 4 5s are 20, 4 6s are 24. Okay. 5 5s are, 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15, 5 4s are 20, 5 5s are 25. Okay. Now 4 9s are, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16, 4 5s are 20, 4 6s are 24, 4 7s are 28, 4 8s are 32, 4 9s are 36. Okay. Now in tables you should be so perfect that without saying the table of 9 you should be directly knowing 9 4s are how much. Okay. 4 6s are how much directly without telling the table. But if you are just learning tables, then you can say the whole table and then write the answer. So that there will not be any mistakes. Okay. I hope you understood what type of questions will be asked in the half yearly exam. You should be perfect with the number names, with missing numbers. Okay. With ascending, descending orders and uh, put the correct sign, the smallest number, the largest number. Okay. And you should be well versed with addition, subtraction and dodging of the tables. Okay. Thank you everyone. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye.